a magnificent display. Power. The self-confidence within you that radiates out in a form of velocity. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, I have an idea that all of us can participate in to grow our club and us as individuals. I propose that every Lord Soccer Toastmaster must dye their hair purple upon joining the club. I know what you're thinking. You have friends. You still want them to be your friends. Family, Christmas is coming, and you really like them, and you want to spend time with them. Co-workers, you need those upcoming Christmas bills, and you still have to work. You don't need to get fired because of your hair. I want you to hear me out on why this is a good idea and an action that we can have within our club. First of all, we are not the first ones to dye our hair purple. It has been around. Long hair, short hair, young people, middle-aged, senior, they're dyeing their hair purple. You can have more of a conservative style or more of a rock star with an edge. Gentlemen, don't worry. They are out there too. <laughs> For those members that may lack in the hair department, I found purple wigs. There won't be an issue. <laughs> now you might be saying, why purple? Not yellow, orange, red, blue. Purple is the official color of royalty. It shows power. It's very noble. Behind me you can see that significant and influential people have already adopted the color of purple. It is a fact that people are going to be looking at you and wondering what on earth have you done? In fact, they're going to say, whoa, you dyed your hair purple? Why? This is where we all come together. I'm going to help you on this, coach you on, on it. You're going to say, I'm a Lord Selkirk Toastmasters member. Once we join, we dye our hair purple. They're going to ask you, toast what? <laughs> Masters? Are you good at baking or something? <laughs> this is where you're going to explain to them that every week you come here and you become dedicated to learn how to public speak. It helps you gain leadership. You can become a better leader in your place of work. You know you can do a better job than that manager, so get them out of there. You may want to be a leader in one of your children's or grandchildren's ex extracurricular activities, and here is where you learn. Because you spend so much time devoting this to you, you become more courageous and confident. Finally, you don't do this alone. You have friends. And they have purple hair too. And they are learning to excel. When the other people see your confidence, the pomp and the power that you put in the presentation to them, it is so natural they're going to want to join the club. Just think, the more people that join the club, the better and more ideas there's going to be. We may have someone new come to the executive with a better idea on how to recruit people, like Christian. He's a new member. He found excellent ways to recruit people. He just didn't have purple hair at the time. <laughs> You may also have different evaluations. People bring forth different ideas. When there's new ideas, you get smarter. 
wisdom is not only writing tests and getting A pluses, it involves confidence, leadership, public speaking skills. What do you say? Do we join hands? Go to a local hairdresser, dye our hair purple, and with pomp and power parade around Selkirk, showing our confidence and promoting our club. In the end, we just get smarter. Mr. Toastmaster. Wow.